it's the boss back with another video for y'all make sure to like comment and subscribe and like always thanks for watching hey 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 and welcome back to the channel today i am going to show you the difference between using a silicone mat and also using a cool cookie sheet you're going to see today that it makes a very big difference so keep watching and let's get into the video so here I'm just adding my sticks and my straws to my apples. Make sure you go around the top of your apples to make sure there is no moisture coming out the top. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get into this mixture. I am using two cups of sugar, one cup of water, and a half cup of Cairo. I added my white gel food coloring. Here I am adding my green neon color. If I don't like my color after one drop, I'm just going to add another. You can add gel food coloring until you get that desired color that you want. Just make sure you don't add too much gel food coloring because your mix will thicken. Make sure to get that color well incorporated before you pop it on the stove. We're gonna go ahead and pop our mix on the stove and we want our temperature to reach 300. All right guys, so while that candy is cooking on the stove, we're gonna go ahead and get into the fluffiest bowls on YouTube. I have some double-sided ribbon here. We're gonna use those two fingers. We're gonna wrap it around six times. The seventh, we're gonna go ahead and pull down and tuck that ribbon through those two fingers tuck 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 we're gonna go ahead and pull it out on the other side we're gonna pull it around here where I am tapping is where you're going to tuck that extra ribbon so as you see I'm tucking under that pocket that I have created I'm gonna pull it through I'm gonna go ahead and take my thumb hold that knot and pull back and forth until it is completely tightened and there you have your fluffiest bow Now you're just gonna cut off your tails. Go ahead and take a lighter and seal them. What I like to do is once I have sealed my ribbon, I like to press it while it's hot onto the back of my bow to seal it to the back of the bow. Go ahead and slide your bow off your fingers and fluff, fluff, fluff. Our candy has reached 300. We're gonna go ahead and stir, make sure everything is well incorporated and we're gonna go ahead and dip these apples. All right, guys, so I am going to place my silicone mat. I am going to be showing you the difference between placing your apples on a silicone mat and a cookie sheet. Here, I'm going to dip, fully coat. I'm going to lightly scrape my apple across my pot, and I'm going to place it on my mat. As you see, I placed it on my mat here. You can see it's leaning to the right. So let's dip the second one and place that one on the mat. Go ahead and lightly scrape it across your pot. Place it on your silicone mat. As you can see, this one is starting to lean to the left. The heat is collecting on your silicone mat and it makes your bottom uneven. So let's go ahead and dip our third apple and I'm going to show you how it looks on a cookie sheet. I'm going to go ahead and completely coat my apple. I'm going to slightly scrape it across my pot and I'm going to place it on my cookie sheet. Being that the cookie sheet is cool, it instantly seals that candy at the bottom to make the perfect bottom for your candy apples. So let's take a look at the bottoms of these apples. 
So this one I did with the silicone mat, and it is okay. I'm not saying it's not, but the one that I did with the cool cookie sheet came out perfect. So if you want the perfect bottoms for your candy apples, that's the method you're going to use. Here is the finished result of my comic book apples. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.